Good day everyone! This is the Group 5 in Practical Research 2 and our research study is entitled Ipil-Ipil, the Sina Leucocephala and Makahiya, Mimosa Pudica, Seeds as Plant-Derived Coagulants in the Reduction of Water Turbidity. The researchers who proposed this research study are Cheryl C. Ramalia, Jaisal Ann C. Sazon, Kia R. Perez, Pearl Shane S. Rago, Mary Rose F. Zafra, and yours truly, Ranchelli B. Sabado. To start this presentation, may I call on Ms. Kia Perez to discuss the research gap or the reasons to conduct this research study. Hi, my name is Kia R. Perez. I'm going to discuss research gap and reason to conducting of the study. Our group chose this topic because a lot of people are having a hard time getting clear water. And here in our country, there's 7 billion people who rely on unsafe and unreliable water resources. Do improper management of industrial, urban, and agricultural, wasting water, hundred or million of people drinking water is is contamin contaminated that can have to netizen. So we have come with this technique which is the coagulation percolation that is come way to apply it water treatment. This process is used to destabilize suspended particles that to react with organic materials to low materials. To make it happen, we will use ipil ipil and maki acid and people don't pay attention to it because they think this useless but they don't didn't know those seeds are full of protein that can help to clean the water. Consider it this. The researcher considered a simpler op option and a alternative of creating clear and safe water. And let's go to next next slide statements of the problem number one good day everyone i am jaisal and c sazon and i will be the first one to discuss the statement of the problem there needs to be an alternative method to obtain harmless water in our community because people should not consume water from substantial sources that could possibly have a detrimental effect to their well-being. More specifically, it is sought to answer the following question. Let's start with the uh, research question number one. How long did it take for each treatment to clear the turbid water? 1.1 treatment A. 20 grams pulverized ipil, ipil and 20 grams kakahiya in 300 ml turbid water. 1.2 treatment B. 40 grams pulverized ipil, ipil seeds in 300 ml turbid water. 1.3 treatment C. 40 grams pulverized makahiya seeds in 300 ml turbid water. The results from the samples are shown in Table 1, Column 4, in, ter column four, in terms of duration or time. It took 24 hours for the reaction of the three treatment groups, treatment A, B, and C, to come to a stop. The turbidity levels of these two groups are very similar. In other words, it was discovered that the water in treatment C was more turbid than the water in the other two treatment groups. Now, let's discuss the research question number two. Good day, I am Shirley Maria. Good day, I am Sheryl Siri Maya. For our research question number two, the information acquired from the samples on turbidity meter mixed water quality is also shown in Table 1, Column 3. In terms of TDS or 
total is hold solid level of zero ppm is an ideal drinking water from reverse osmosis, deionization, microfiltration, and distillation. PDS levels between 50 and 100 ppm are obtained via carbon filtration now mounting springs or aquifers when hard water begins at 170 ppm. 200 ppm is an only partially acceptable. Water from the top or mineral springs contains 300 ppm to 400 ppm. Lastly, more than 500 ppm indicates a maximum level of contamination. Next slide. For our treatment A that contains mixed seeds, bacon ito and bahaya, has a DDS level of 312 ppm and treatment B contains ipil ipil seeds with this level of turbidity, they belong to 300 to 400 ppm. Lastly, more, last, more than 500 ppm indicates, um, sorry, Treatment C, treatment C contain, that contains makahaya seeds has a level of 733 ppm. Consequently, it categorizes it categorize under the maximum level of contamination because it exceeds the level of 500 ppm. <coughs> Introduce back or not? Let's move forward to research question number three. For the research question number three, is there a significant reduction in the turbidity of water with the application of pulverized epil epil and makahaya seeds? Table one and two represents the before and after comparison of the three samples. This tabulation makes it very easy to analyze the data and test and prove the hypothesis if there is a significant reduction in the turbidity of water with the application of the plant-derived coagulants. Table 2 displays the turbidity level of the samples before the application of the seed extraction. Since they came from the same source of turbid water, treatment A, B, and C all have the same turbidity level of 158 parts per million or ppm with a classification of water, water that undergo carbon filtration or water from the mountain springs or aquifers. On the other table, which is the table 1, column 3 and 5, show the turbidity level and observation or classification of the samples after the addition of the extraction. Treatment A produced a, a turbidity level of 312 ppm under the classification average tap water. Treatment B resulted to 386 ppm also under the average tap water classification, whereas treatment C possessed the highest turbid turbidity level of 733 ppm belonging to the maximum contamination level. Next slide, please. It is therefore concluded that pulverized ipil ipil seeds and makaya seeds as plant-derived coagulants in the reduction of water turbidity is ineffective in reducing the water, tur water turbidity and these raw materials were not able to execute their expected role to the cleansing of the water. This study used three different treatment groups that were observed on a certain parameter which is the turbidity alongside the time it took for each coagulants to clear the turbid water. In duration, all of them have the same time, but the most efficient record is in treatment A that consists of both epil epil and makaya seeds. In water quality, treatment A and treatment B consisting of epil epil seeds both have the same water quality, but there's still a great difference in their turbidity level. Treatment C containing makaya seeds produced a total dissolved solids level of maximum contamination that is essentially harmful and opposite of what the research intended. This makes treatment A the most effective as it possesses the least turbidity among the three. Overall, the application of the extraction from the dried and pulverized seeds of ipil ipil seeds and makaya seeds shows no significant reduction in the turbidity of the water. 
Now let's move on to the conclusion to be discussed by Cheryl, Cheryl Remalia. Survive is water. It's also regarded as one of living things' fundamental necessities. A human body contains between 60 to 65 percent of the water that is excreted through excretory processes, which must be controlled by an adequate intake of water, thus making it a vital component, component of life. The need for water treatment is growing as the world's population expands and demands more access to clean water. A new techno technology was created in a safe and environmentally friendly manner as a result of the major health risks that come with the contaminated water. Ipil Ipil and Makahiyasids were used in this study to explore the possibility of lower lowering water turbidity utilizing two plant-derived components. The goal of the study was to see whether these two plants were capable of creating an organic, sustainable, and cost-effective water filtration system. In order to meet the goal of this study, the researchers utilized specialized equipment to conduct a turbidity experiment. This time, I will summarize the procedures of our turbidity experiment. So, after po namin ma-acquire yung mga essential tools and materials, nilinis po na Nilinis po muna namin sila yung seeds through straining them just to make sure na walang other elements na mag-interfere doon sa experiment. Once cleaned, then it will be grounded in a blender until the seeds of ipil-ipil and makahiya have reached the desired powdery texture. After this, nanghiram po kami ng compact scale sa science laboratory ng school para makalculate po yung precise quantity ng seeds na ilalagay sa bawat containers. And then, para makuha po yung katas or extraction ng mga seeds, hinala po namin yung pulverized seeds sa distilled water and we left it in the refrigerator overnight. The following day, we used a filter, pa filter paper to separate the seeds from the extraction itself. Following the study's conclusions, the reduction of water turbidity using plant-derived coagulants, ipil-ipil and makahiya seeds were evaluated for their turbidity. After testing using the total dissolved solids in parts per million unit, the results are evidence that the intended alternative procedure of developing clean and safe water was not effective to reduce the turbidity of water. Because of this, we have various recommendations that will be discussed by Pearl Shane Rago. Hi, good day everyone. So now I'll be discussing the last part of our report, the recommendation. For the research in the future, it is being encouraged by the researchers to make improvements to the final product produced in the experiment. First, we recommend future research researchers to the test properties of the water not only in the terms of its turbidity, but also the color, the taste, and the odor, pH level, hardness, salinity, and the other physical characteristics that the researcher may desire. Before and after conducting the experiment in a professional legitimate water testing laboratory. This way, there are several areas comparison. There is a clear determination and better understanding of the cause and effect relationship of the variables. In order to obtain the best quali quality for reducing the cloudiness of the contaminated water, it, it is also recommended that the researcher invest in a better quality of tools and materials and our equipment conduct the research experiment in a more appropriate setting. Additionally, it is advised that upcoming research students increase the amount of seeds added to the turbid water. In connection to that, the current researchers suggest improving and specifying the independent variable by making use of the clay materials that will be added to the top water to create turbid water. In the process of the observation, the covering the container just by a piece of plastic so that a more realistic environment is made by the containing the solution while also protect, preventing unwanted particles from coming into contact with the, with the container. Finally, the listing of observation every certain period of time is being encouraged while it is up to the researchers to establish their own time frame for the observation however they see fit.
Now we would like to thank the panels for giving us this time and opportunity to present our research project. The next part of this presentation will show our experiment experimentation proper through our through the recorded video. This has been Group 5. Thank you so much.